Yay, I'm on a train. Basically, we're on the train back to Sector 7. We're just waiting for the train to arrive at its destination. <laughs> Be sure to talk to this guy here. You don't have to talk to him multiple times. Just make sure you talk to him once here and then once later. You'll be rewarded for it. Terrorists? We're not terrorists. Just talk to everybody. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but <laughs> that's what happens if you try to move on. I wouldn't hold my breath on that. <laughs> nope, you're pretty useless, Wedge. Sure, why not? Jesse basically explains, uh, the, uh, I guess you could call it the... I don't know. Not the geography, but the topography of Midgar here. Each section used to have a name, but now it just goes by number. And we're bypassing these ID checkpoints with our fake IDs, because we're terrorists. And then you just want to talk to Barrett. I like that line. You just full of surprises. Because of that fucking pizza. At least I think that's what he wants to say there. They censored it. Could be. And the train has arrived. This is Sector 7. I don't think you ever get to explore all the sectors of Midgar. I think sectors... 1, 5, 6... Seven and eight are the only ones you ever get to see. Back at the hideout.
Just save point up here if you need to save. <laughs> and Barrett runs all the paying customers out so that we can use our hideout. Such a nice guy. Don't care. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. What? Oh. Don't care. <laughs> what? Well, I suppose so. A billion gil, wow. Avalanche is so cool with all the explosions. Nah, I'll just go to the hideout for now. We can go shopping later. I ain't your papa. <laughs> Wouldn't she run to the corner and cry? Is Cloud that, sc that scary? Yes, even though I didn't. This is Tifa. She's Cloud's childhood friend slash, I don't know, friend with benefits. Give the flower to Marlene. Yay. Now I look like a pedophile. <laughs> yep, I'm too good to drink with you. I drink alone, bitch. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm so mean to Wedge. <laughs> Let me just sit nonchalantly on the edge of this table. That's right, you better take care of me. I gave you a flower for a gill. Spent a whole gill on that flower, man. Broke the bank. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this entertaining. This is gonna be a boring episode. It's all cutscenes and talking. Probably will be no combat involved at all here. Sure, give me a drink. Man, Cloud down that drink in a hurry. Okay. Anyway, the pinball machine is a secret elevator. Down to the hideout. La la la. Yes. I'm just going to continue being an asshole to Wedge. Ha! <laughs> 
there's any one soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. <laughs> Barrett doesn't take too kindly to that. <laughs> Poor Biggs. I still miss the Shinra. Bullshit! Cloud doesn't care about anything. Barrett's gonna go into turbo mode. <laughs> Man, he's a lot more fierce than Little Mac, I'll tell you that. Barrett should be in the next punch out game. And Tifa is going to try to stop me. <laughs> it's not my problem. How can you say that? Remember? Remember when we had that flashback? <laughs> this is a pretty vivid flashback. It's like they're there. Damn, Cloud was a lot shorter seven years ago. See, the timeline here doesn't quite make sense because seven years ago from this, Cloud would have been 14. Yet we have a flashback of him later in the game when he's 16, and he looks the same as he does now. So you're telling me from 14 to 16, he aged that rapidly and grew that much in two years? Seems a little, I don't know, unbalanced. <laughs> but here he looks like a little kid, and it's only two years prior to the next flashback we have. Anyway, I totally neglected to focus on what they were talking about. They were talking about how Cloud wants to be the next great hero, and he wants to be like Sephiroth, because Sephiroth is like the biggest hero in the world right now. I'll try to be in the newspaper. That's my lifelong dream. And they make a promise that if Tifa ever gets into a bind or ever gets in trouble, that Cloud will come save her. Kind of a standard, you know, damsel in distress promise. On a shooting star! I can't keep the promise. <laughs> Barrett don't need no damn elevator. He just climbs that shit. Where's my money, bitch? Go give me my money. That's right. That fifteen hundred is gonna go towards a lot of useful things.
And that 1500 also convinces Cloud to stick around for another mission. Good morning! Alright, I think this is a good stopping point for this episode. Next time, we'll uh, go on a little shopping spree, and we'll head off to our next mission at the Sector 5 Reactor. See you next time.